a game by Napash. And by... Noun Verber? He was the guy that did the music. Okay. We have our controller. Controller. Sorry for the click, 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 Yeah, click. should we introduce ourselves? Yes, we should. I'm Neon. And I am Trisket the Squid King. And this is a game called Paper Thin. Which really doesn't make sense, but oh well. I already played through the tutorial, you're not missing much. Um, excuse me while I fix technical difficulties. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, so this is a uh, platformer. Why am I still talking on the menu screen when we can just jump into it? Let's just kill stuff. Yeah. Um, this is a game dot game, so it's free. The link will be in the description. I don't know what I did there, but the link will be in the description. So there really is no story to this game. It's just kind of like a... It's randomly generated. Um, oh no, it's an enemy. Wow. That's right, you said this was randomly generated. Yeah, it's it's um randomly generated. Like, have you ever played um Rogue Legacy? It's kind of like that, except Rogue Legacy is better. Jump, 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 jump. This game doesn't just involve jumping. I hope you know that. There is also killing and maiming. My two favorite music things. is creepy. Yeah. It reminds me of what what was oh. it? Like? Oh, Anamunagachi or something. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Oh, oh, chop. Chop, chop. I'm a ninja. Can't touch this done no, no. oh you touched oh, it. That was bloody. And painful. Chap. What are those? Are they shadows or are they I, like little zombie? I demons? told you they didn't explain anything except How is that fair? You can destroy those. I am I'm just very bad at doing so. Cause you need to dash attack. Oh god, I hate uh, what's up with that? Oh, look at this. Oh, oh you can walk on. Yeah, this like for Old school gamers out there, if you've ever played Strider, this reminds me a lot of Strider. I've played Strider. Okay. I'm not an old school gamer. Strider's oh, awesome. Oh, and if you had headphones, I don't know how loud the audio is for you, but um, beware of the, the transition. I'm giving you a couple seconds to turn this down because... Oh, yeah, it's a little... Loud. Creepy. The first time I played this, it made me jump because I wasn't expecting that. I understand this game's kind of creepy, but that's not what I was expecting. This game's kind of creepy, but I can't, I can't like mock this game because it's actually pretty good. <laughs> you know, there's like I can't really think of anything bad to say about it. It's, it's actually, it seems pretty exactly. solid. Exactly. It's like I don't really know what to say because like it's not really a unique genre. It's just a unique art style because when you think of platformers, I mean, you don't always think of colorful, vibrant levels but you don't think of this either no it's i mean it kind of looks like um it's a roll of goo kind of reminds me of that yeah except not as no yeah okay this oh, very God. grainy uh i mean the art style is cool it's got a lot of ambience too i i can't think of anything to mock in this game because it's actually like i don't know the plot and it's you know, I, I mean, I don't know, are there bosses in this? Do we know if there are bosses? Um, there are tougher enemies the further you go. I played it a little bit, so I'm sorry about that. It's just that I want to get a feel for the game, so I didn't want to look like an idiot in front of, Chop that guy. like, 14 people that are going to watch this video. Chop that guy. I guess the are watching another guy get chopped, and he also gets chopped. You should be, like, a sports newscaster. You are chopped. Your head goes in the basket, 10 points. <laughs> They just sort of explode into that's like the only color in the game is the blue. I couldn't. Splots. I couldn't and the white. I couldn't tell if you were making a Skyrim reference there, but Spot. no, no, your head goes in the basket. That's that's the thing in Skyrim. Your head goes in the basket. Chop chop fizz fizz. Now you have that loud screeching, annoying, staticky noise. Now what's cool is that little oh. mistakes add up. So this means it's going to get really freaking hard. Yeah, this is supposed to be a rage-inducing game the longer you go into it, so yay! Why? Now, here's the thing that gets me, right? So, the old-school games were really hard, and they were rage-inducing, and I actually had teeth marks on my NES controller because I used to get so mad at some of those games. I didn't see those were spikes, I'm sorry. Is that what they are? Oh, this got your little blood dripplings all over. So, so then they made games really freaking easy, and now they're going back to making games like just absolutely infuriatingly hard. Like Super Meat Boy, for instance. Super Meat Boy is hard, and um, Splunky. Splunky! Splunky's hard. I actually played one player, and I managed to get to the jungle. I told you. I like it, but I just really wish it wasn't so hard. 
We might play that at some point. Yeah, you? I'd like to play this one. I like Okay, it, I, I have... Okay, I was gonna say I have one life, but every time you get 50 of these little shard things, you get an extra life. Which I'm trying to figure out what these things are. They look like little cloud stripes with swords. Like, are those even swords? I mean, little smiley faces, and then you're just sort of, you know, decapitating them. Hey, you're not decapitating them. Oh, uh, little crystals come out of their skulls. How cute. Hey, they're already all over. And that's a bloody plant thing. Okay, so, kind of, for some, why does this remind me of Castlevania? Kind of. It's, it's very Strider. I mean, this is very much like Strider. Um, I just wonder how hard this, oh, now we've got flying Yeah, like, jeez, they're... Bugs and um, tentacly things. So that go splat. They all splat the same. Pretty much. There's no custom animations. And you die. And you're dead. This is actually the farthest I've ever made it, and you can see why. Is that like your soul? Do they like beat you until your soul flies out of your body? I don't know. Like, like I said, there's no story, so I don't even know what these things are called. Like, they could be called, you know. Shadow walkers, but they can also be called like They're sort butt of flies. I don't know. Turdlings. <laughs> you know. They drop their rainbow-colored feces upon your brow. Watch like the developer be watching this and being so mad because he left their name in the description. Except that <laughs> I I didn't really pay too much attention. Well, Mr. or Ms. Developer, uh, your game is actually pretty good, and I can't I'm, think I'm of ge I'm <laughs> too many I, things to say that about I'm, it that are. Negative. I'm guessing it's a guy. I thought it was like Nat Pat or something Nat, that made it. Well, it could be Natalie. I don't know, but it's actually a pretty solid game. It has a very old school. Oh uh, what? Oh it now was... it's now things are getting even. Oh. oh oh, it's death. Death is coming for you. You didn't move fast enough. This is very much like Splunky. Okay, move your butt, move your butt, move your butt, move your butt. You're gonna die. You're gonna die. You're gonna die. Can't touch this death. Death is going I to died him. ram his stick up your rear end. Okay, and then oh, now, okay, so now Dad's gonna try. Yep, your turn. <clears throat> Let's see how far you get. Wait, and that's it? You don't get to continue? Nope. Because it's infuriatingly hard. Well, no, if you go right. back, you can go to shortcuts, and I think that once you get to like a certain point, it unlocks a shortcut, so you don't have to play it all over again. Okay, we'll chop you. Yeah, I'm just gonna watch him fail at this and laugh <laughs> in his face. Those yeah, are that's spikes. what sons are supposed. To, oh, okay. This is okay. What, oh, what is this? There's a gob of spikes hey, up there. Wait, I, I can do this. Okay, you can do a dash strike that should. As he yanks the controller away from his old man. Hey, I'm sorry. You Jeez. suck, old man. Okay, that was failure. It was failure. Okay, but I can just jump up and just. Pew, pew. So, okay, so now we know that death will come ram you up the rear end with a stick, a pointy there you go. stick. A pinty stick, if you don't. Hey, I was close to the exit. Okay? Should we taunt death? Should I just stand by the exit and wait for death to come? <laughs> and then just be like, and nah. laugh in his face and be like, oh, nah. God, this is a. Uh, oh, it's. Oh, poop. If you keep mashing it when you get to a wall, you can, like, hop over. Oh, that's a dashing button. Okay. Oh, I am just. You can. Look at that. Look at those skills. It's your old man does My only, I'm, I'm just like staring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, did I mention Ninja Gaiden was really freaking hard too? Uh, this is going to be the title of the episode, oh, Ninja Gaiden. crap. It's not hard if you're good at it. The Sam. No, I think the title should be Death Will Poke You. I'm sorry, you're just... You, you will can, die. <laughs> you can double jump. You realize that, right? No, I didn't. But it's too late now because I'm going into a pit of abysmal failure. My turn. Okay, we'll try this one more time. This okay, is... unless I'm like awesome at it. But what, what if the game was like you're dead forever and it just deletes itself and never lets you reinstall it in the hard drive? Like you get one life and if you drop the ball, you're done. You are done. The game is over forever. That's the game. I wonder if I got any shortcuts. Oh my gosh, I got a shortcut. Wait, what? Oh, wait, reach level 8 to unlock 15. Wait, are these like the warp pipes? Oh my gosh, there's actually an end to the game. Reach end. So I'm guessing there's a final boss <clears throat> then. So how many levels is this thing? They don't tell you anything about it, it's just like... Mm -mm, they're just, just like... Run and chop and Well, then again, the description guy. was really long, and I didn't feel like reading it. I just wanted to check to see if you're... There probably is a story. You're like, there's no story. It's just a bunch of little black globs running around trying to kill you for no reason whatsoever. And why is there like in a windmill farm? <laughs> I wonder if the background on has another changed. planet. I don't know. Like, what are those in the background? Like, 
Well, there's the moon, so maybe we're. I'll just on invent a st like he the kid lived on a clean energy farm, and then the tornado I came and sucked him up, and now he has to kill the it souls of all the dead children that the tornado killed. That or something like that. Okay, well, I have a better story. Same plot, except that after the tornado, the kid became wild and evil and lost his mind, beginning to think that everything was all black and dystopian. What's that kind, sir? You're going for the supermarket? Well, you get chopped in the face. Yeah. Spike blocks can contain... Oh, wait, what? Wait, what? I didn't know that. Thanks, game. Now I've been helpful in the tutorial. Spike blocks contain hearts. Oh, wait. You can beat those up? Yeah, I told you that. Did you? Yes, I did. Rewind the video. Did you tell me that? Blake, I'm going to stop recording just to rewind this. Yep. Oh, no. It's a spiky, floaty, squeative... tentacle thing. Pretty much. Tentacle monster. I'm it's going to get you with its you can also rainbow colored spit. Why did I jump into that? But you Yeah, why do the shadows spit rainbows? That's look at that. It's like I I'm keep trying to hit these out of the sky because I know you can, but I just don't Okay, well that that was So are we done for part one? There's more parts to this. <laughs> what? I thought you wanted to get to the end. I'm never gonna get to the end of this. I couldn't get past the part Neither level. am I. So this is a uh, game jolt game. If you don't know what Game Jolt is, well... Where do you go to get Game Jolt games? Exactly! Well, I'm asking you, so you can tell people watching this who maybe aren't familiar with Game Jolt. Uh, well... I don't know how many times I was looking through Game Jolt and I found games that were on concrete, so... Okay. Which is another gaming site. Okay, so it's what, game <laughs> GameJolt.com? Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, then that's... search paper thin. We're going to leave a link in the description. Yeah, we'll leave a link. And if you want to die miserably at the hands of little shadow people and death, go for it. Okay. And it's actually a pretty good game. Yeah, so I want to stress it's actually yeah. a pretty good game. And one more thing. This game is free. It's the full game. Yes, free games. Everybody likes okay. free games. Okay, another thing with Game Jolt is that it also has a lot of demos. And you think they're full games, but they're not. But, um, yeah. I'm going to try to die one more time. Let okay. Talk and tell people about um, free games. Stuff. Game Jolt is. This should be a whole separate video, but oh well. You can nah. just. You'll just watch him while you're just like. Just watch me die. Is watch he actually me. talking? Like, is he talking right now? But, um. Game Jolt is a site where indie creators can go and they can post their amateur video games. I say amateur because they're not really like professional video games, although this one could be considered a professional video game. I'm sorry, it just could be considered a professional video game. It would make a good, or like a PlayStation 3 or 4 game. Mm -hmm. The graphics look almost like a PlayStation 4. It, it does. It looks like a PS4 game. Maybe. You can you can dash, jump, double jump, and then dash. Cool. Look at that. Look at those skills I am picking up. Uh, yeah. I well, suck you're, completely. You're, you're horrendous. But yeah, this is very much, I mean, for anybody who wants to compare it, this is very much like Ninja Gaiden or Strider. Yeah. Uh, so if you like those kind of games. I, I was discussing game job with okay. the community. Well, basically, um... Yeah, Game Jolt is just a site where indie creators go to post their games. Uh, all of them are free. Some of them are good. Other ones are not very good. And I, I don't want to be rude here, but a lot of them aren't the best games ever. But that's because they're indie creators. And oh. so they really probably don't have much money or time. Well, they might have time. But, um, yeah. So, yeah. Okay, cool. On to the next game. On to the next game. Goodbye. Bye. People of the interwebs.